So this small rectangle here represents a resistor, which is just this small electrical component here. And this allows us to make sure that uh, we know, or we can actually control the current at different parts in a circuit. Now this one here is a fixed resistor, but we have other sorts of resistors as well. This one over here is a variable resistor, so this is a, something that we can control the resistance and actually change it when it's in the circuit. We have other things uh, where the light controls the resistance, or even the temperature, when you've got things like LDRs and thermistors. But what we can do is we can set up a resistor in a circuit like this to actually look at its behaviour when you have different values of potential difference and current. So we've got a resistor here and we have a, a voltmeter in parallel across it to measure the potential difference. We've got a current uh, sensor, the ammeter, which is in series with it. We've got a variable resistor so we can actually control the current and potential difference across this component and also a power supply. Now when it comes to looking at the current measured in amps and the potential difference measured in volts, what we find is that um, when you've got a positive current and a positive potential difference, the two values are always proportional to one another. And actually when you have a negative value and a negative value of uh, current and potential difference, we get the same effect. And if I just draw that in with a ruler, and this is a, an experiment that you'll probably carry out at some point in your GCSEs, is you should get something that looks like that. So we've got a straight line that goes through the origin. Um, in actual fact, um, this really shows that if you've got a resistor, its resistance stays constant provided its temperature remains constant. And then it's behaving like what we call an ohmic conductor. So an ohmic conductor, provided it stays at the same temperature, for one of these, the potential difference is proportional, directly proportional to the current, and that means its resistance stays the same. Now there's an equation that says, and actually this is a definition of resistance, that the resistance is equal to the potential difference across a component divided by the current through it. And what we can see here is that because V is proportional to I, that means the value of the resistance remains constant. In fact, there's a certain number of coloured bands on the side of each resistor, and these tell us there's a special code, and this tells us the resistance of that resistor. Now this one here has got a different sequence of bands to this other fixed value of resistor over here. And if we were to maybe connect this into the circuit, what we might find is that we get a very different line of best fit. Now, it says here that the resistance is equal to V divided by I, but here the slope of that line is equal to I divided by V. And actually what this means is that if this red line was a resistor of value R, because this line here has a shallower slope, it's actually got a bigger value of resistance. So what we can say is that um, if you've got uh, resistors and you set them up in a circuit like this, their IV characteristic is a straight line that goes through the origin. And when you've got a line which is shallower, that means in this case it's got a higher value of resistance.